welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today I'm going to be building a sweet house using a very special shell. So we've had members here on the channel for a couple of months now and every week I'm doing an exclusive members only video and if you want to check those out you can click the join button down below and this week we're doing a special members only shell challenge. So my members will be able to submit their entries and I'm going to have a look at them in a couple weeks time in a members only video. But today I'm going to be building my take on the shell for that challenge. Okay, what the heck am I going to do with this thing? <laughs> now, now I've got to turn this into something. I have a few ideas. I'm going to chuck a roof on this bit. I'm going to go controversially lengthways and then bring it down. Kind of like a mid-century vibe, you know? I'm vibing, I'm vibing. And then I might do a roof on this section too. Maybe if we bring, actually, yeah, let's bring this one up. Okay. Yeah, because then we can just use that as like a little feature, like bay window kind of thing. Yes. Yes, here we go. And I'm gonna do some windows here on this roof. You know what, I'm gonna put them a little more off grid. Yeah, there you go. Okay. You know, just a few little windows up there to help out with the lighting. Then I think I'm gonna extend the eave out the back. So then we have actually like an undercover section back here. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I'm only using base game. You know what? We're gonna use base game. Let's do it. Not my intent, but that's what we're doing. This could actually be a lot more rough than I thought it was gonna be <laughs> because of that. Uh, oh, I can't. Mm. What if I like do this and then put it there? That doesn't work. Mm. You know what? I'm not doing this base game. I'm sorry, guys. I, <laughs> I already give up on base game. I'm out. Okay, we're back at the same point with every pack. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't do base game. All right, so yeah, I just wanted to have an outdoor area. Maybe I'll use these. Well, if we're doing mid-century, I could do. I could actually use this door, which I actually quite like, to be honest. That's yeah, pretty nice. You know, I actually think this roof is a little too steep, maybe. Um, I can bring it lower, but then these windows kind of get more complicated. What if we change these to this spa day window? Much more low profile. I can bring this down more. There you go. Still get a window. I actually kind of like that, to be honest. <laughs> I think that's kind of cool. All right. And then these windows, I like the blue, but I don't know if that's maybe too much. Like maybe, should we just keep it simple? Do like the white instead? I like the blue door though. Or maybe orange. Kind of wish I had a yellow. All right. What windows do we have? Because we're probably going to have need to use some of these. Oh, you know what we could do? Because my shell challenge says I can add walls on the next level, I'm going to add half walls. I'm going to do this and then this and then along here. Yeah, I like that. Oh, you know what? I can't add walls down here because like I said I'm not allowed to add walls outside, but I want to add like some sort of screen there, which we could do using a wall, then removing the wall. Oh, you know what? This actually could be really, I feel like this is kind of mid-century vibe, but make it white. Oh, that's the door. Oops, sorry. Make this white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then remove this because then it's still there. Yes. I like. And I'm gonna move this door over now. So now it's no longer centered in that wall, but more so in the gap that we've left. And I can add a bin right here. Maybe not an open one, but maybe I'll do a closed lid. Maybe just one of these. A little wheelie bin right there. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, what's, oh, oops. <laughs> this roof is too big. Oh wait, maybe that's why this ended up being wrong. Cause I had the roof the wrong size and then this is too high. Maybe that's why I had it wrong. Also a little bit of an issue there. Uh, hmm. And also there, <laughs> I can see it. Oh, what if I just get rid of that? Oh no, that doesn't help. Uh, what if I get rid of that? Dang it. Uh, what if I put a wall here? Doesn't really help. Higher angle actually doesn't help either. You can still see it through there. Dang, that's annoying. So I kind of need to have it how I had it, which is annoying because <laughs> that doesn't look good. Or maybe we could use that, get some of these puppies in. <gasps> Wait a second, I can't add walls, but I can do this. Now watch this totally be annoying and not a good idea. <laughs> okay, that's too much. Let's get rid of some of them. Maybe if we just have the corners or something, we could use that. And then I got to get rid of the floor because it's really supposed to be a room. Question is, do I do windows on this thing? Because it can't, you know what? I don't think I want to actually do any windows there. The mid-century always has like, well, not always, but a lot of time we'll have like some sort of stone incorporated into it like this. Let me get rid of that bit. We'll have a stone section there maybe. Oh, you know what would look, and then I'll, I'll choose the rest of the walls later. I was thinking along the lines of these sort of details, if we had, can we fit, can we fit a bunch of these squ whoops, square windows on one wall? Okay, I keep placing them wrong. One wall. Actually, that does fit because that is actually kind of, that kind of seems like a mid-century window design to me. Having like a bunch of panes like this. I actually quite like that. <laughs> I quite like that. I don't know if I like it there, but I think that's a good spot for it. Ooh, it kind of does clip through the roof a little bit because it's, 
It's a smidge too tall, as you can see. But I don't think there's another window we could use to do that. I could just give that some uh, platform up the top, just hide it. <laughs> All right, well, let me get rid of these ones. I don't want it there. Okay. Well, I think back here, oh, you know what? Actually, get rid of these. So yeah, that still looks all right here. And then like that, oh, and I kind of want to have it continue into this wall here. And then up here, can I do this? Grab this guy, paint that. Yep, paint that section. Have like a chimney section there. Oh, I mean, this is, I'm actually really happy with how this is looking. I don't know what's happening at the back yet, <laughs> but I feel like this is hitting the notes that I want to. Yes, I think this might be my other wall color, at least for some parts, but I'm just playing around, just noodling on it, you know? Okay, I feel like this is, a, maybe it's too white. It, it just looks like really clean, but I can't really, it was like more of just a little bit of a gray. It'd be better, but I'll just leave it white. Whatever, that's fine. I think the blue doesn't really go now though, does it? Oh, maybe orange. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh, I think this makes like a pretty neat pathway actually using this Desert Lux giant concrete floor. I think that actually works quite well. I might just cut off, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> just cut off that little diagonal there just so it sort of matches a bit better. Yeah. Okay, the actual roof probably should just be this. Yeah. And I guess, yeah, we should probably keep the white trims and I should probably do a white trim on this. Mm -hmm. Might make these little windows here white as well. I'm just gonna fill this up with flooring. So even when the walls are down on that level, it's still there. It's, you know, it's our chimney. Well, actually I might lower it down a bit because we'll, let's put a chimney in there. That probably makes sense. <laughs> it's a little big. All right, maybe I'll put the flooring back down. Oh, I'll, I'll just do it like that. Cause then it actually hides that whole chimney in that space. So you can see it's just in there, <laughs> but it means that you'll still see the smoke coming out of it. I think it'll look pretty cool. Yeah, nice. Okie dokie, around the side of the house. Well, you know what? Let me figure out this interior. I kind of think this, I want it to be like the kitchen area. I think we need a bit of stone back here somewhere as well. I think this corner could be pretty nice, but then I can't really paint just this section in stone. Okay, maybe instead this section here, and we can just do a little upper level half wall section like this, give it platform so it's more substantial, copy the trim and put a bit of stone on it. Yeah, that breaks it up a little bit. Okay, cool. Now, I'm not necessarily doing a full mid-century house here. And I'm saying that now because I kind of want to put a big glass door on this thing, which I think will look really nice. <laughs> but, or maybe this, the open sliding doors from Desert Lux. Well, let's see, shall we? Let's put this roof on. Oh, it doesn't quite fit with that half wall there. What if I rotate it? Could bring the Eevee on a bit like that maybe? Oh, actually, why don't I just do it this way? Hang on, this might work better. Cause then instead of, rises uh oh we get a weird uh, trim i think it needs to be up higher yeah okay hang on how low can i go how low can you go too low there we go okay you know what i'm gonna go with that i'm gonna go with that now this is like perpetually open to the outside which is a little weird oh could we use the oh my gosh actually what about this instead of the stone here It'd be like almost like an open breezeway i don't know if we're going less mid-century now and sort of straying too far so I'm, i might not do that but i will do i think i'll do a door somewhere here because otherwise then this is like open all the time okay well i was thinking of doing that as a kitchen but then we have like this which is quite clearly probably the living room so i definitely think this could be a really cool living space check this out this is oh my gosh we definitely have to do well well yeah we're gonna do like a lowered floor section for sure <laughs> definitely let me get this in so i think maybe here just even like just a step down, you know? I don't know if I want, I don't think I want a wall all the way across. Probably just honestly here by the entrance. And I might actually, oh, I can't flip the door the other way because the lock is there. So I just wanted to put a table there. But if I slide the door over like that and then I can fit it, yeah. But is that, uh, no, nah, it looks better there. Let's leave it. That's fine. So we come down here, main living space. I kind of, I really want to have the fireplace in the middle, like here. I think that makes more sense. It's more mid-century. So I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna move the fireplace, I think. Even though I like the stone, I mean, we can keep the stone on the side of the house there, I guess. There's no reason I can't do that. All right, so remove that um, ceiling, move that wall. So it's just been put there instead, which I think is fine. And I might just keep that stone there because I think it looks nice, to be honest. And then on the inside, this is definitely gonna be our fireplace. <laughs> and I'm gonna actually cut the room here instead, have that be the lower section. But I'm still gonna keep that. I think I'm gonna keep that half wall there. Oh, we need to um, hang on, remove a uh, no, remove ceiling. Oh, but then I need ceiling over this bit. Hang on, because we need to have it open so those windows actually go somewhere. I'm gonna cover this section and actually that bit there too, where the floor. Then this is open, and I'm gonna remove the roof here too. No, nope. remove. Okay, so then that should work, and I'm gonna paint all this as well. Oh wait, hang on. Oh no, no, that's okay. Never mind. Okay, yeah. So going inside here now, we can see up to the roof and to those windows. We do have wood paneling around the top there and the lighting is a bit weird. Really wish the game didn't do that, but you know, we still get the, the feeling of it being open. 
But I will do some wood paneling on these walls on the inside, but definitely not all of them. Now, out the back here, I guess we'll have a door here maybe. I guess I'll just use this <laughs> door. I mean, it's tagged as mid-century and that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna use that and then let's get some of the windows we're using. I'm gonna use this larger one back here maybe. Or should, let's get at least some of these here. I'm gonna get maybe one section there just so we have like this corner window set up. Then maybe that. Yeah, that's all right. Like that, that does the job. <laughs> Okay, so we got this huge living space and like no bedrooms. So I think we're gonna have to divide this into some sleeping space. And also, <laughs> if that's the kitchen, then what the heck is this space? It's obviously a living room. Maybe I need to put the kitchen up here and then have that as a bedroom. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this into a bathroom because there's like a weird little space and this can be a hallway. It can be utilized in a few different ways. Okay, here, here's, here's the thing. Mid-century, we've got a, quite a few door choices. I kind of like the blue doors, but I mean, the outside of the house is uh, orange. So I think I'll use this. Let me get some lights in here too, actually. Do the old trusty. I'm just gonna do these big sources so we can see. Okay, so this is gonna be our little hallway. <laughs> Our mid-century hallway. And we're gonna have a door in here to there, a door to there, and a door to there. And then a door to here. It's door city over here. Which I guess that door should go that way. So we could do that. Which I feel is kind of mid-century, having like these little pokey hallways. The other thing is we could turn this. So what I'm thinking is we have, actually, you know what? Why don't I move this door to here? And this can be like a main bedroom and like a bathroom slash wardrobe or something. And then this could be like a rec room. So then we have, oh, then we only have two bedrooms though. No, that has to be a bedroom. Okay, never mind. I forget that idea. Because <laughs> I think we need three bedrooms, otherwise this house is too big. And then obviously this one needs a door over here somewhere, just by the entrance, so we'll just put it there. And it also needs windows, so we'll figure that out. I feel like this interior room would just be all wood paneling. Like 100%, you know? Yeah, that one. <laughs> that, so we're gonna go in there, that's our hallway room. You wanna do carpet down there, then up here. I kind of feel like some stone somewhere would be good. Maybe just by the entrance at least. Maybe even the bathrooms we could do. I feel like that was kind of common. Uh, wait, that means we only have one bathroom in this house. Oh, I guess we can do uh, an ensuite for this bedroom, maybe like over here, or maybe move that door a bit. Actually, let's do that. Let's move the door a bit, because then this bedroom can have like, an ensuite there. Actually, we can make it even bigger. We could do this and then have a built-in wardrobe there. Yeah, this is good. So we'll, we'll go like built-in wardrobe, nice wood paneling, <laughs> and then that can be another bathroom. So then they have their own bathroom here, which I'm gonna do stone type. I feel like stone is the way. Okay, yes. And then I think wood as well. So we've got the wood panel wall in there. I guess something similar to that. What about that kind of wood? But we're gonna go more rich. I might have to change that wood paneling I have there. Unless I use this floor. Maybe this shine. I mean, we've got all these different wood tones. I think I have to, <laughs> I have to decide which way I'm gonna go. I don't mind that one. It's a little dull though. Oh, maybe the warmer color actually. Cause then it kind of goes with the, I think it goes with the walls enough that we don't need to change it. We change the doors though. What if I make the doors lighter? Cause then there's just more contrast. And then I guess this wall maybe should just be the same as this one. I do like this wood wall though. I like this more than the, but I don't think it looks as good on the outside. I guess the problem we have is in this view. Maybe we just ignore those windows up the top because that's kind of what's causing some issues. Just build the ceiling back and then we don't have to worry about that weird discrepancy. Yeah, I like that because I think the contrast between the flooring and the walls works. Um, I think the doors are okay or should we go back? No, I think the lighter color doors are better. So let's do that. That means I can use some of this wood paneling on the inside now. <laughs> and of course the stone. I feel like the stone is very good. Might use it on this whole wall down this side actually. And then let's just try paneling all on this wall. And then maybe they have one wall that's white. And then this I feel like should be stone. Maybe the stone floor should match better. Although it's not really matching one. No, never mind, whatever, that's fine. I kind of feel it should have like a glass thing on it. Yeah, oh wait, maybe this one because it's from Get Famous so it definitely matches a bit better. I don't have a white one though, but I guess that's fine. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. All right, bathrooms, wood paneling for sure. Absolutely. All right, well, this area is gonna be my kitchen. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this half wall. I'm gonna put a half wall here as well. Oh, I thought it was gonna. So then we can use this as our kitchen area. Then you can step down here to the living space. Not really sure how to do the fireplace because all the fireplaces kind of stick out a lot. I wish we had like built-in fireplaces. Do I maybe, what if I just, it doesn't look as good though, does it? <laughs> and we've got to use this one, right? That's the mid-century or even maybe this one kind of fits. It does like just cut in so much though is the problem. But you know what, let's roll with it. Do the blue glass, yes. Okay, kitchen. Right, I'm gonna go along like this. Obviously wood paneling. 
<laughs> I kind of want to have, hang on, I need to put a wall here for a second. I want to have shelves going across here so it's like open. I'm gonna have to move that window, I think. Oh, maybe not actually. If I line it up with the top of the window there, that's actually probably fine. Yeah, that'd work. I'm wondering if I do the same on the other side. Okay, now half wall, we just put that there. Oh, that's way too big. <laughs> Sorry, half wall. Could even go lower maybe. Actually, that's probably good because then it's like a bit sticking up behind the counter. Um, Question is, do I want to try and like close that gap or just keep it like that? Because I feel like that kind of works. I think we could use these. What do I use the tall one? Scale it down. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Oh, but it's not wide enough now. <laughs> but does that really matter? Because I feel like that still achieves the same thing we're trying to do. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Then we gotta get mid-century green for sure. Kind of feel like we're missing like a wall here. Like I think if this was mid, like an actual mid-century house, it'd probably be like some sort of thing blocking this and enclosing it into a smaller space. That kind of, that seems more mid-century. I'm gonna put a fridge there. No, no, yes. It is kind of in the middle of the room, especially when you're just like, in this mode, but I think it kind of makes sense having it tucked there. You know what? We're gonna have a funky little corner there too. You know what? I think maybe more of this needs to be closed like this. Can I put these in? I kind of, you know what? I think we need to just open this hallway up a bit more. Now that we've sort of enclosed that to be a hallway, maybe this would be better served like one space. Like what if it's like that? I don't mind that. Oh, th you know what? This is like really dark, which I feel like is, is kind of on point. I feel like it should be like this. Nice little sink by the window. Okay, we will get some actual lights in here though, because <laughs> we don't really have any. All right, mid-century lights, what you got for me? <laughs> So dark. Actually, oh, these are pretty good actually. I like these. Yeah, it's a good like kitchen light. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Actually, surprisingly lights up a lot of the space over there. So I might even just have that one. I might get rid of that corner and then actually just put a bin there because we, we need a kitchen bin. Sure, that'll do. Okay, this is a mid-century bookcase. But I was kind of wanting to use this space as like a little reading or like a little office nook, which this one works really well too height-wise. Oh, this is like the perfect piece though. <laughs> this one for sure. Maybe this can go back over here and then we could have like a desk over here instead. Actually, we can even fit this kind of tall desk because it doesn't really block that much of this side. Like it does a little bit, but not as much as you'd think. The living room is definitely not as big as I'd want it to be because I want to add a lot more into it, but it gets the it gets the job done, kind of. It's a little tight. Maybe move that over a bit. That's kind of tucked in the corner a bit. We've got a bit of space over here, which I feel like could use some decor to the max. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this light is actually, I feel like that suits perfectly. Even that color. <laughs> I'm happy with that. It's pretty simple. Like I, I'm not going over the top of detail or anything, but I think that mid-century mid sort of living and kitchen area, I'm pretty happy with. As for dining, we kind of need a dining space. We don't really have one. I think maybe, what if we just have it outside? Like I know it's not ideal, but I think it's maybe the best we can do. So I'm just putting some flooring here. Maybe just do like a diagonal corner just to sort of smooth that out a bit. Then I guess this, we haven't even got to this, but I guess it's, I'm thinking probably just some sort of granny flat thing or just like a guest bedroom or something. Or even like a home office. Can we do this kind of roof where you have it back to back? I don't mind that. I don't know if it looks like a, more like a butterfly than a house. What if we do it more like that? Yeah, that's better. Give it more of a more of a aesthetic. You know, can we fit a dining table in the kitchen? Like I could maybe rearrange some of this if we just do like a small dining area. Oh, the mid-century tables are big. What if I use this table? No, I don't want to use that table. Or what if I shift the whole kitchen like a long one? So we sort of Make it a little bit smaller. No, I think I'll just get rid of that piece. We'll keep that bit. And then have dining here. Maybe that'll work. Like it'll still be pretty squished in. Kind of almost fits. I still need a bit more space. Can I make this little fridge nook smaller? Because then we can use all this space. Which actually, what if I keep part of that wall and do another one of these? And get like one of these lights on the wall. I think we just need to put a rug under this and then we might be in business. Oh yes, one of these like diamondy ones. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, yes, we got that, we got that. Now just here, I'm just in the mid-century category seeing what we can put in. <laughs> Cause it's actually got a good number of items that are easy to just plonk in the place. Oh, actually this would be good down here. Or this, yes, record player, put that there. <laughs> Gonna do a little mirror here by the uh, door. Maybe we can get a little side table, probably smaller than that one, maybe like this one. Oh, yeah, just one of those. This one's this one's a classic. I always use that. But yeah, it's a good little side table there. Okay, I gotta get some windows to these rooms because they're all currently windowless, which is a little sad. Well, that room's okay, actually. So it's this room, this room here. 
I mean, we could just do some basic windows like that. It kind of looks pretty bad from the outside. I think I just need to put like a hedge here or something, to be honest. Yeah, that, that looks better. <laughs> okay, so they got windows. This bathroom doesn't and this bathroom doesn't either. But we could do... You know, I like the idea of having the windows like this on the corner. Obviously, it being a bathroom, that is potentially a problem, but we'll figure that out in a minute. This one, not so bad because it's, you know, around the side of the house. So we could probably get away with that anyway. And actually, you know what? Why don't we just even like block it off? I know you can't make rooms or extra walls, but remove that wall, remove that floor. This is no longer a room, but I'm going to put some just dirt in there. There's like an enclosed little section you can't really get to, but it's there. Actually, you know what? We could even have a door, like some sort of access from one of these rooms, maybe. But then if I put a door in this room, then there's a bunch of doors in a tiny room. So I might just leave it. I think I'm gonna do the same sort of window thing just here. Maybe I have a double double window like that. Uh, I don't think I need any windows there or even here because that's already got a door. So that's that. I'm just gonna default do some wood paneling in these rooms and then we can mix it up as we get through. Remove that ceiling light. Let's get more of these wall lights. I feel like these are pretty good. Well, for the theme, they're not very bright, but for the theme we're going for, I think it works. Okay, well, this is gonna be family bathroom, which could do a shower tub combo there. It is in the middle of the house though, which would be annoying. So we could just do a bath maybe here. I could just do something like that, which means there's no shower. There's not really any room for a shower. But you get a bath and do get green curtains. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the perfect bed for this house. I feel like this could be like a teenager's room or something in here. Yes. You know what? I don't even know if I need to change it, but I might do the green. We've got a bit of a, the mid-century green theme going on, so I don't mind that. Also, this single bed version is great too, which maybe I'll put in this room. I might just have it a little bit away from the wall there so we can fit in a curtain or a blind or something. Ooh, orange. <laughs> sure, that'll do. <laughs> That's what I'm doing that room. Maybe this can be a nursery for infant update. Let's go. I just have to use the old stuff for now, but this can be a baby's room. Baby slash toddler room, because I'm not sure right now. Look, that doesn't really go. Maybe we need the mission style one. This one. Yeah, it'd be nice when we have all the cribs and stuff. I think that'd be a lot better. But for now, I shall do this one. Some little pop-up books there in the corner. I think some of these rooms probably should just be like a wallpaper. Not, not all panel. Yes, that, that works for me. <laughs> I go more beige carpeting in the bedrooms. I know we've got the more white down here, which actually, you know what? Maybe the beige. Oh yeah, the, you know what? Let's get beige. Beige all round. <laughs> yes. It's kind of got a bit of a pink to it as well, which is interesting. Okay, yeah, let's take these lights out, or at least have this room, and that one, and that one. So this light I really like, but it produces like no light. This one's also mid-century, produces much more light, so I might use this one. Maybe I'll do a couple of lights there. Uh, maybe a little awkward right above the baby and the toddler. So maybe not there. I might do it on the other side of the room. I'll do it over here. Get a couple of those. I think we're gonna have to use some sort of ceiling lights maybe. It's just all the mid-century ones in the game kind of are a little, maybe a little, like that's hanging a little too low. Maybe I'll just scale it down a bit. Yeah, that's better. We get a couple of those. It makes those rooms work a bit better. I kind of want a curtain that's not gonna block the entire window because the blinds, I feel like that suits really well, but you know, it's down, so it's blocking the entire thing. And any minuscule amounts of light we're getting in here. Maybe this one, oh, this one scaled down is actually not too bad. <laughs> no, that's bad. <laughs> we can't do that. Ooh, this one's good. It's obviously just way too tall, but I really like the color of that one. Maybe Dream Home Decorator ones. They're a little too long, but nothing. A mid-century home, can't ignore. Yes. Now I'm pretty sure I've blocked that bed with this table. I feel like I always do that with the toddler bed, so maybe I'll move this table. I'll just put it at the end there instead. Yeah, then that leaves the floor space a little bit more open. And I could have a rocking chair here. And with growing together, there's like a comfier looking rocking chair coming, so that might be better. But for now, we can use that one. There you go, look at that, beautiful. I've actually just moved the bed to be in, shoved in this little nook because it was kind of blocking the, the curtain. And yeah, that's pretty much why. <laughs> I really want this bookcase, yes. I like the idea of it being like sort of, not right there, because you hit your face on it, but sort of kind of like the bed's tucked underneath it, but then obviously you can't use it, so it's kind of pointless. So I think, I'll, I guess I'll have to put it over there. But we've got the classic mid-century dra uh, drawer set. So I think I might try and go kind of a wood tone just closer to the bed. Yeah, I like the idea that they stole this sign and hung it on the wall. <laughs> so we'd have that there. A little poster. Ooh, I like this sort of, I guess, almost looks like a beer sign or something. I don't know, I'm imagining this as a teen's room. That's kind of what I'm going for. So like weird signs and stuff they've just nicked. Posters. <laughs> they stole like an exit sign. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good idea, but you know, we've got it. Maybe this one too, just for a bit of funsies. Yeah, that looks cool. I want a yellow dot on my floor with a chair on it. Cool. <laughs> I don't know, a little reading chair, it's yellow. I guess you could put like a radio or TV in here as well if you wanted, whoops. 
Hey, my door. There we go. Okay, this room, that window is gonna be kind of awkward. I can't fit these same curtains over it, so maybe this one does just get a full blind like this because we have windows over there too. Hey, that window. Okay. Can I get that there on the diagonal? And if I put this here, which is also diagonal, doesn't really work because <laughs> Because it's a tile and a half, it kind of needs to be here. Maybe I can put the bed there. Then we have a huge gap. Just trying to do something different, okay? <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> no, no, let's... I, li I like the idea, but the execution is not working, so let's not do it. Okay, this is a bit of fun. We've got, we got some angles in the furniture, mixing it up a little bit. Can we get a desk over here as well? I'm thinking probably the smaller one, maybe the, even this one. Or we could potentially do a bigger desk. Just that angle there makes it a little bit difficult. So I just have to move this along a little bit. It's kind of hard because the, the curtain there makes it, oh, can we use this matching desk? Because yeah, if I just put it there, so I just have to shift it back a bit because of the curtain and the wall, which I also think to be fair, kind of realistic. Like nothing's gonna, f definitely not this room. It's not gonna fit perfectly. I feel like there should be a TV up here, which maybe you can sit on the bed and watch. Yes, correct. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm happy with that room. There's not su there's not a huge amount of detail in there, but I'm happy with that. That's cool. You know what? I am, <laughs> I'm actually really liking this house from just a silly little shell challenge. We've gone full leaning heavy into the mid century. <laughs> cool. All right, so the ensuite bathroom here, probably just gonna have similar stuff. I might do a shower instead, which either has to go there or in this back corner. That kind of might make more sense because we've already got a huge wardrobe there anyway, so that's already creating that sort of blocked view. So then maybe I'll just do the toilet on this side there. We could fit a shower tub combo in here for sure, but I don't know if I want to do that anyway, so I'm not. <laughs> Bathroom decor. Should we get one of these things maybe? Just to have something in this corner here. Ooh, can go yellow. All right, this is our main bedroom. Just get rid of that temporary light. Um, do I, I, I like the door, but I mean, do we want it permanently open? I mean, you can pretend it's been closed, but we could just use this door instead, which is also thankfully tagged as a mid-century door. So it technically goes with everything. That's also not in the right spot. Sorry about that. There we go. Uh, so I might just do that. So it's, you know, more enclosed. Oh, Murphy bed. Oh, that's what we should do in here. But like the, the granny flat, that could be the Murphy bedroom because that is quintessential mid-century. Oh, we're gonna use this bed. Yes. I guess we go the orange. Cause I mean, that's kind of what we got. This front door. That's our main vibe. These tables are a little big. I might use these bowling tables, which are tiny, but maybe provide what I need. <laughs> ah, the leopard print. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to carry it away with the leopard print stuff, but feel. I feel like maybe one of those would be good. I don't have two leopard print lamps. It's too much. <laughs> so I think here we could do like a vanity. A vanity, so not really, but do like a mirror just here above it. Uh, oh, I should probably do, what did I? Oh, I didn't do one in there. I am using this mirror sort of area because it's mid-century tagged, so I'm just going to do the same in these bathrooms. There we go. So a couple mirrors there. Then we can do like some makeup stuff. Makeup. I don't know. Just, I feel like that kind of makes sense for a vanity. I feel like there should be a rug in this room again, even though we have carpet. Oh my gosh, that that rug is like perfect. I think the the red instead of the green. Maybe we need to change the bed a bit. Or do we want it to contrasting anyway? Maybe we want it. I don't know. It's hard to say. I think the I don't think the orange quite fits with that. Maybe that one's better. I need more light in here. Hang on. Could do like the blue scheme like that. These tables do have green in it though, which is a little weird, but I don't know. It's, it, <laughs> it's just what they are. It's a perfect space to have that piece there. Oh, we need a hall, one of these hall lights in here. Classic. Just a little bit lighter. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this, to be honest. I don't think I really need to do anything else in this room. But if I were to do something else, I think like a little... La well, like a seating area here. We can go the green. Could be a good way to go. Because then you just have like a little seating area there. You can open those doors. It's lined up with the bed, not necessarily with this door. That's why it's a little bit off there. But I think that works. And I guess with that, that finishes the main house. So I just want to do a little bit of outdoor stuff just here. Apparently this is counted as outdoors. Sweet. So I think that actually looks really good. Oh, you know what? Actually, this could be kind of cool here. And then maybe if I move this so far. Oh, you know what? Actually, no. Let me do it like this. I like this. I want to have a pool. Yes. And then, oh, you know what? I'll just join this little section with a diagonal. I kind of like all the different shapes and stuff we got going on, like the diagonals and all that. I think we can pull that out a bit. I know there's kind of like all this weird space back here now though, but I th what if we did like planters or something back there? Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of windows and stuff there. So it'd still be light, but I feel like it'd be protected from like harsh conditions. Probably not the best place to grow stuff, but, or, I mean, I just do it like this. I just kind of like the angle on the side here of having the lounge going along with that. But I guess it makes more sense to have them here. <laughs> oh, orange, yes. 
<laughs> and I feel like a barbecue right there. I think that makes sense against that sort of block wall there as well. And then we can have maybe another bin out the back. Ooh, a stone bin, yes. That goes. Ooh, I like these though. These are nice. They're not technically, at least in-game tagged as mid-century, but that feels pretty mid-century to me. Okay, I've just changed the layout a little bit, which I think works, because I, I like the couch there, but it was kind of taking up too much space. There was nowhere for the table, which is now over there by the windows, which I also think is quite nice. Might just shift these along so they're sort of more central to the pool area. And I think I'll get them, ooh, a little stone number. Yeah, okie dokie. I think I'll just do like a little hedge or something there. I don't know, I just need some sort of separator. Do a tree back out over there. Around the front, how are we looking? Maybe another hedge or something? Another tree on the side maybe? Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's pretty simple landscape. I haven't really done much, but a couple hedges and stuff I think help a lot. I actually really like this space at the back. Now, we're gonna do the same doors on this, which I think will be nice. It'll match into everything. The panels inside. Do we do carpet? No, we should probably, let's do floorboards in here. All right, then this definitely needs a bathroom as well, if it's gonna be like a little granny flat. I think maybe we block up that section there. That's our bathroom area. Then this could even be like a little kitchenette. So I think maybe we do, let me get the lights in here. Let me get this ceiling light we've been using. All right, so I want this to be pretty functional. So we could do like a mini fridge. So as it can go there, it's a little awkward, but maybe we'll do that. Actually, maybe it should be this more wooden one. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of the, can I get rid of the stickers? No, I cannot. Okay, never mind. Let's go back to the other one. Microwave on top there. I don't know if we can get in there, but we'll try. <laughs> so I get that. Then we could get a, well, we need a little sink and we need a bin. So I'll just put it there maybe. I mean, you can't make full meals, but you know, microwave meals, wash up, bin, sweet. All right, around the back, I will do some windows as well. How do I want to do this? I think I might do, what if we just had these along the top like that? Yeah, I like that. All right, and here we'll have to use the sort of freestanding shower just so we can fit everything in with this particular layout. And we'll use, wait, what sink am I using in these ones? Let's use the same one. We'll use this same sink over here. And then that gets us a fully functional bathroom and kitchenette, I guess. And then, oh yes, we get to use the Murphy bed. Should we get the full unit with two things either side? So that will fold down here and then we can get this TV. I guess I'll have to use this one actually over there. So that'll fold down in the middle. We have that space to walk around. When the bed is down, it should still work. So I think that's actually good. That's kind of all I can really do in this room. Get a fun rug though. I don't know what color the sofa is though is the problem. Maybe I'll get the one. Oh, it's not already folded down. I need to see what, <laughs> I think it's blue by default, right? It's hard to say, but we got it. We got our little, <laughs> little cranny flat. So you could live in there. Might just do a little sort of hedge along the back. Might just get one little round shrub. You know what, I might do a few down here. Do one there, scale them down a bit. One there, one there. I don't know, this adds a little bit of intrigue. Might do one here too. You know, what? why not? All right, well, I think I'm gonna call that it for my interpretation of this shell challenge. Gonna do some, a little bit of terrain painting, at least around the foliage and stuff. You know, I didn't go too over the top with details, but I think I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like I've, I feel like I made a good effort. Yeah, we got, I actually really like this kitchen. I, you know what? <laughs> I really like how this all turned out. I'm actually really happy with this. I think maybe I could do more in the backyard, but um, I've already spent nearly two hours doing this. So I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. I mean, I think that actually turned out really well. I'm actually really happy. I had no idea what I was going to do going into this. I don't know how I ended up on the mid-century modern sort of style, but I think it really worked. Now don't forget if you're interested in joining the Shell Challenge, it's for members only. So not only will you be able to enter the Shell Challenge and I'll have a look at your builds in a couple weeks time, but you also get weekly exclusive videos of behind the scenes content, extra content that you wouldn't normally see. Plus some Shell Challenge stuff. So that's pretty cool too. But thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.